What's up everybody, it's your boy Dave Mo. So, I'm part of this group, and if some of you guys are, then you could already see where I'm coming at with this. This is the reason why, and I'm not saying that this person did this, keep this in mind. I don't know anything about what went on here other than these two uh, messages. Let's just say, hypothetically speaking, this person sold this car to this other person without doing it the correct way, either through a dealership or having it put in the title in their name or like a family member's name, which uh, is a gray area. But let's just say they didn't do that and they did what's called, you know, like a, a skip skip title or, you know, what we, we call it in Florida is open title. Um, there's a curb stoning. There's a million different names for it. But this is how you get caught up, okay? So you sold the car. You sold it through your, your Facebook page. Now someone has a beef with you. They go and they figure out, you know, um, where they can call, whether it's, you know, small claims court or, or the police or whatever it is. It is in most states considered a felony to sell a vehicle that is not in your name. Okay. Now, granted, if you put it in your family's name, I'm sure they could go to court and be like, oh, yeah, my cousin was just selling it for me. Not a big deal. You know, it wasn't misrepresented X, Y, Z. But if that buyer still has, you know, the messages between you and them going back and forth, um, in this particular instance, they already admitted that they sold the car to them. This is the type of stuff that you guys really, really, really want to watch out for. So I'm not saying this is strictly, I don't even know how to say it without getting myself caught up, but... These are types of things that you want to look out for, guys. So if, you know, if you know someone or, you know, dabbling in this type of activity, you need a CYA because this is this is bad. This could turn out bad for this person, especially if they didn't do the right thing. And again, I want to be clear here. I'm not saying that they did an open title. I'm not saying that they, they just did, a uh, you know, a flipper upper. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is if you guys do that, this is how you'll get caught right here you you sold something to someone you thought was good they don't think it's good they go to the authorities whether that's you know here it's region six in tampa or court or the police and they say that you know you were selling cars and now they open up a case on you and they start looking into it i know a lot of you guys are lying laughing but i can tell you right now i got caught with 10 cars about 12 or 13 years ago I have told you the story before if I haven't let me know that you guys want to hear the story I'll tell you the story I'm not ashamed of it I got caught out out there um, and luckily enough I got caught by a cool dude and he you know he, he let me make it right and I did but what comes with this is also tax evasion because you're probably not paying taxes on the profit that you're making on the car if you're not titling it in your name anyway guys I just want to let you know watch your butts out there because real talk, the economy is not doing good. And I'm going to tell you now, they're going to start cracking down on these types of activities. Not just with cars, but, you know, with, with the Amazon thing, eBay thing. They're going to try to collect more taxes because that's the only way they're going to recoup the money. And, you know, that, it's just what I see coming. I could be totally wrong. I'm just a friggin' car dealer YouTuber. But I want to look out for my people. So... All right, I'm out.